What's up, YouTube? I'm Miguel Malenciano. This is Evolution Angler Bassin. How's that bite? Back again today, and we have pretty big what's in the box. Got a couple different things in the mail, and I decided to combine all of those packages into one big what's in the box instead of a couple different ones. And also because I'm pretty excited, I just want to get out and go fish this stuff. So let's get this episode of what's in the box in. Ready? All right, let's go. Get right to it. This first package is going to be a Tackle Warehouse deal. Can't be a what's in the box without something from Tackle Warehouse. Of course, you get the sticker with the $50 purchase. And this time we got a couple extra freebies. Freebies this $5 hat. Not a bad deal. Trucker hat. Yeah, not a bad deal. Then I'm stocked up on these shirts, but I figure I'd get one for my son. This is a freebie. Same as dad. <laughs> but we're going to have to shrink this a lot and wait a couple years before he could actually put it on. Probably wear it to bed. All right, let's get to the baits. All right, so it's pre-spawn and... Well, at least here it still is pre-spawn. And just the spring in general. You can't really fish a spring without lipless cranks. So I went after these. These are Bagley lipless cranks called the B minus. And this one's a little bit different. This one's a little bit more tailored for shallow, dirtier kind of waters. This actually is advertised to run shallower than any other lipless crank. This is the half ounce and it is the Rattlin version. Um, the color, it doesn't say the color on the box. I just got it. Because, you know, it pretty much resembles a shad. Uh, good to fish. Darker days. Yeah, pretty decent rattle. So, let's see if I creep this in between pads. Burn it across the edges of pads. Elicit a strike. Okay, next up, another Bagley B-. minus. Um, this is the exact same deal, I believe. I just got it in the Fire Tiger color. No need to take this one out. You see there? I'll take it out. Yep. Pretty nice fire tiger, dark green on the top, and then it just fades to an orange. You have the yellow in between. Half ounce shallow sinking, same. Next, the Spro Little John MD50 Type R in a loud, super loud color too. Citrus Shad, it's right here. Pretty remarkable lore uh, from the homework I've done on it anyway. Got a nice knock to it. Yeah, pretty self-explanatory here. It is flat side, that's key. So coming off of cold fronts and still here, we are closer to winter than we are to summer. Uh, so as that water is still cold, you know, that tight wobble, this is gonna be a major player, so bang. Next, so I took this one out already just to pair because it looks pretty nice and I'm probably gonna go fish this right after this video. So these are the Freedom Stealth Swim Jigs and as you can see they have free swing head. This is in the quarter ounce rendition and I've gone ahead and paired it up with a Yoda Worm Tickle Tail Action. Um, imitating a bluegill here. I did start to cut off and trim the skirt a little bit. A little more flare in the water and yeah it's just got nice profile nice orange pair as well the swim jig itself what attracted me to this swim jig is the fact that you could interchange the hooks just swap them out if you want i don't know if the camera will pick that up let me see see right in there that notch so that's a swivel notch or that's how i interpret it anyway basically you just comes a point where the hook is held in by pressure but you get past that pressure point and then you know it just comes off you can interchange whatever hook you'd like and we got a couple more this one is the same deal black and blue oh i forgot to mention they do have the screw on deal right here and that itself is on a swivel as well so life in general just a whole lot easier this one's in black and blue a little bit heavier at the half ounce like i said before nice blue like an electric blue on that so yeah okay got another one in three quarter ounce and this one's in just plain old white me and murky waters we got something going right now so yeah all right 
one more freedom tackle item so these are a little different these are the hydra swing jigs not the swim jigs just without the trailer swing in action on your jig head with a swim bait with a big kai tech with a big paddle tail in general you're pretty good to do the job i'd even be uh bold enough as to put a big like a creature style trailer on this moving on the little creeper all-american trash fish fatty four inch and I got this in the tucked out chartreuse. It seems to be a little translucent there. I'll take one out. So what makes this bait, this bait, I'll show you right now, is this right here. It's incredibly soft to the touch. Probably rig this like on a four aught, seems to be about right, weighted hook, maybe like a quarter ounce and just have it creeping slow on the bottom. But you see that action in the tail right there? The plastic is so soft that in the water, it, even out of the water, it just gives this bait incredible action. And yeah, you know, I'm just venturing into swim baits this year. It's tiny, it is on the smaller end, but you know, pretty compact, pretty good for pond fishing. Next up from Cool Baits, we have these trailer worms, four inches. Um, these were actually the last one in stock and you come across something like that as a tackle junkie, how can you not get the last one? I figured these would be good for chatter baits, uh, especially like the smaller chatter baits that I have, good to play around. Same idea as the tickle tail action. It's just gonna give the chatter bait a good erratic kind of action in the water. So yeah, you know. Couldn't say no. And they are ribbed. I don't know if the camera could pick that up. They have these small little thin ribs that I'm sure add displacement in the water. So purple, purple, purple is the secret blue on steroids. And then this. So this is the Livingston Lures slingshot. Um, this is different. So this actually produces a sound as soon as it hits the water. That's supposed to replicate bait. As soon as it comes out of the water, it turns off. And it's a hybrid lure, so it is going to be a mix between a lipless and a swim bait. And that's sort of exactly what it is. It's sort of like a plastic coated lipless crankbait with a tail on it, making it a swim bait. Um, I don't know how this will perform. Saw it on Tackle Warehouse. Same deal. They're running out. So I figured, why not? Let's give this a try. I'll give it a fish and see, see how it goes. Color pretty interesting there. The official color on it is green back bronze. I... On the actual warehouse, you know, that's one thing. Uh, sometimes on websites, the colors appear to be a little bit different. So I thought I was getting a little bit more pearl and a little bit more chartreuse to the dark green. What it ended up being in person, I don't know if the camera could pick it up. It's more like a pearl baby blue and a very thin line of chartreuse. But still, either way, you know, it should be a killer. I'm happy to have it. I'll fish it. Then up next, the lore making. We got some colors. We have red here. Bang. White. White. Bang. And chartreuse. Bang. Then one more item from Tackle Warehouse. We are going to have a pack of I Surrenders. Some I Surrenders ESE in copper, of course, with all the sediment in the water around here. Now, granted, these are not the new Tactical Bassin ones. These are the originals that the boys from Tactical Bassin wear. Apart from them, the homework I've done, research I've done on these glasses, yes, they are affordable, but the product and quality that you're getting for that price is extremely amazing and then you can't beat that if anything happens to this pair of glasses right here for 20 bucks i just send it in and they send me a new pair Whew. amazing again i got them in the copper lens copper lens because there's a lot of sediment around where i live uh these should be good for bed fishing and i actually wear this color lens on different glasses pretty much all year round um, i like to get out early and i like to stay out late and i like to fish a lot of low light conditions so yeah got the copper lens esc i surrenders and that's gonna do it for the tackle warehouse deal Let's move on to Amazon. So I needed some proper footwear for just in general. Um, it was time to restock on that. So first item up here is gonna be Columbia PFG Dorado Boat Shoes. Shoes are gonna be pretty interesting here. So they are gonna have the shield on them, on the material itself, which allows it to stay clean. Um, it is a vented shoe, not a lace. 
It does have a decent cushion on the inside, meant for arch support. Then it does have a non-slip bottom. Is this like razor edge technology, something like that? I don't know. They, either way, we're going to wear these shoes. Meant for the application that I'm putting them towards. So just needed a pair of shoes. I don't know. I'm not fashionista or anything like that. They seem practical, so I got them. Then I got same deal, just in sandals. In the summertime, you know, the footwear is actually pretty important to me in the sense of I am gonna be fishing a lot in terms of comfortability and practicality in terms of safety, you know, with the non-slip bottoms and then the combination of, you know, this is pretty good. These will come into play, especially when I get out of the kayak, if I'm fishing a river system or whatnot. Um, I can get out comfortable knowing A does have that non-slip technology at the bottom. And this style allows me to get minimal rocks and pebbles underneath. So yeah, the all-terrain sandal <laughs> from Columbia. Got that done. Don't have to worry about footwear, at least till the winter. Then the last deal, and there's gonna be a follow-up video for this, got a black pack from Yak Attack. So, this is not pieced together yet. Yak Attack, a great company. It's very in tune with the fishing community, and not only that, they just have great products overall. This being one of them. I was starting to run out of rod holders on my boat, and my tackle storage, look, I have three different tackle boxes that all come on the boat. I wasn't willing to put any more holes in my boat for rod holders. So the combination of tackle storage and rod holding, and then all the other different features that you could put on the black pack. You know, it just made sense to go down this route. They included a couple different extras here. Cup wrap, this is pretty interesting here. Looks like uh, a rail mount, but it's a bottle opener. <laughs> a couple different decals here. Going on the boat, going on my son's boat. I'm gonna end up ordering one of these for my son's kayak. And yeah, it's just not much to show here because it has to be built. But again, there will be a follow-up video for this, a boat mod video. Look for it coming soon, specifically tailored to Yak Attack. And one thing I must say again, you know, their products are really good. Uh, looking at my boat, you know, the Yak Attack items are just starting to pile up. So big up to them over at Yak Attack and yeah, video will be out soon. But that's gonna do it for today, YouTubers. I have some fishing to do. By the looks of this box, I got a lot of fishing to do. So let me get to it. Be sure to comment, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. I'm gonna leave links, whoa, scared me. I'm gonna leave links to all the sites where I got the stuff from down in the description box. And I'm actually going to film now week three. Yeah, week three of KBF April Challenge, which I haven't had much time really to be out on the water. So let me take advantage of this free time. But for now, YouTube, I'm Miguel Malenciano. This is Evolution Angler Bassin, and see you later.